this weekend to find the new digital era with YouTube hosting its very own award show, skipping past TV networks and record companies. Also, music consumption habits in Asia are changing. Spotify and RDO are growing in dominance because they're getting users in control of their own music. And to talk about those changes in music, I've got one of Weber Shanwick's biggest music nerds. This is Mira. Mira, why do you think this change has happened? Well, I think it's about the move to digital. With more choice, more speed and more insight, we've got more content. In most newsrooms, you're going to have at most three music journalists who are going to have to cover stories on the biggest headliners, review a CD or catch up on some showbiz gossip. With the internet, you have thousands of fans, music bloggers providing their perspectives on their favourite new band, the latest remix and today's hottest playlist. Um, tell me more about how users are getting in control of the speed and the control of their music choices. Well, with the likes of Facebook, NME, and audio players like Spotify, Songza, and even 8-Tracks, you can control what you're accessing and actually add to the conversation at your own pace on whatever device you want, wherever you are. Cool. So how is the general media responding to all these changes? Well, digital journalists are developing stories and seeking content for pieces they know will get clicks, and that's the most important thing. They create and share their expertise with a network of music influentials on Twitter. They curate stories to share on Facebook with the goal of entertaining and educating their readers. When it comes to music players, simply said, why should anyone need to listen to traditional radio? Yeah. With Spotify and Pandora, I get beautifully creative playlists from friends with automatic recommendations. I have control and that is the most important thing. Cool. Lastly, it's about engaging digital content. No one wants to just read about the movies anymore. You want to watch it on YouTube. You don't want to read about Macklemore's latest album. You want to listen to it. I want to watch it. These new platforms offer intelligent recommendations based on our preferences, social graphs, and history. So I guess this means if you're a new band, a new digital music startup, or just an all-round music nerd, it's time for you to engage and get online. It's about starting a conversation that gets people excited and gets them listening. I'm Jade, this is Mira, signing out from Weber Shanwick, Southeast Asia.